Mama knows my game here. She's like, yeah, I see you pouring out two pounds of food for me to worry about. And now she's telling this baby, do not move and do not let that woman get close to you. Well, little one, I hope I'm faster than you when your mama ain't looking. Okay, okay, I'm getting away. Yeah, see, this is why women live longer. Because I'm gonna listen to this animal tell me no. Well, good morning, friends. I uh, huh, just got a call from Luster. <clears throat> I am just waking up and uh, the pond guys are here and called and said, oh, there's a cow having a baby right in front of us and the bull is after her. That turns out to be, guys. <sighs> okay, this might need to be a better strategy around how we handle this. But the point is, <laughs> we gotta go get this baby so that Tex doesn't hurt her. And I guess they're coming over to the goat yard. Not need all this help. And I don't know how I'm gonna ditch you all. Listen, this is not good. This is not good at all. Y'all stay. No. Oh boy. So, Lester, guys, stay here. Ugh. Lester also called uh, the neighbors, Pat and Dave, in case I needed help down here. I don't think I'm gonna need help. What we've done in the past is go get the baby and mama follows and that's it. Good morning. Got a brand new babe. What are y'all looking at? <laughs> Oh, Santiana, she's beautiful, or it's beautiful, I should say. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. Okay. This is going to be something. <laughs> hey, I don't need your help. Why are you all here? Oh, Mama, I know. Good morning. Good morning, Mama. Okay, I'm gonna get your baby and you're not gonna kill me, okay? That would be great. You're so cute. Sweet baby, where are you? I had her up and then Mama scared me a little bit. She got right in front of me. I wanna see here. Uh-oh. Big Daddy, I don't want you around. Get him back, Mama. Okay. I might have to go get the four-wheeler. That might be the best yeah. mode of transportation to get the baby out of here fast enough so that mom doesn't swing her horns at us. Tex, go on, go. No, Tex. I think we got us a little girl. It's a girl. Tex, get back. It's great you get to meet it, but I don't want you to do anything to it like that. Get back. Okay, mama. I know, I disrupted everything. Yeah, I'm gonna go get this the side by side. Okay, we'll walk that way. Good call, mom. Go on, mama. Come on, little one. Everyone is concerned. I'm gonna actually get her, try to get her over there. But as long as I can get her out of here, then that'll be good. That's what I would really just like to do. Okay. My poor mama wants to stay with her herd. But we know from times past that Tex is not good with babies. I know, baby. I know. Oh, my gosh. She's so beautiful. Mom? All right. That's what I'm doing. Going to get the Argo. Poor, poor pond guy. <laughs> Who's 
out here trying to work and the area, the literal area that he's getting ready to do it on is just where the baby decided that she was gonna take her first nap. Um, the baby's still wet, so it's very fresh. And, uh, well, I was able to pick her up. I turned off my camera because, you know, because <laughs> I had to keep going. But, um, Santana kind of got in my way and made me a little bit nervous, but I did not want to take her on, obviously. So, when I get to Argo, I will actually have that gentleman help me hold the gate open and, uh, I guess get into the Argo. Wish the mini truck was here. That'd be helpful. How far they made it. Y'all. Be sweet. Here's the problem. That's what we got going on here. They all think I have food. I don't have food for you. All I want is this baby. There's no food. This is not just a food wagon. Okay. I have to wait till mama lays her down again because she ran from me. She's actually quite skilled already and listens to her mama very well, which is great news for them, bad news for me. Uh, in reality, they're doing pretty good at staying away from him. So I like that. Look, I don't know. Lester would say I get them to a new pasture but Lester's not here to see this either. Oh, oh look, the neighbors are here to help. <laughs> okay, so I messaged Lester, I'm like, where, oh no, where is the food? And Grandma Pat and Grandpa David, Mr. David and Miss Pat, our neighbors are here to help keep watch. This has made, oh no, this has made Santana a little bit nervous. Okay. Put out food for her, and now Wanda's here to eat it. Don't worry, Mama, I'm gonna put some more out for you. Don't worry, Mama. Really, she knows I'm tricking her. Like, she 100% knows what I'm doing out here. Come here, Mom. I also think it's really sweet that Santana took her right to Grandma Pat's little fun place. This is the snack place. Hey baby. I'm mad at myself. I didn't have the guts to walk around Santiano with the baby in my arms so I put her down and that might have been my only chance until she lays down again. Go meet. Come eat and let me get that baby. Alright. Mama's gonna eat. A little bitty, bitty, teeny, tiny baby. It's over here. Oh my goodness. Wanda, really? Ow, leave me alone. Don't worry, Mom, I'm gonna let you eat. So, Lester would be freaking out right now, going, get that baby, get that baby. Let, let's get her out of here before while you have a chance, but I don't want Mom to hate my guts. I don't want to be rushing and trip and fall. I realize there's a time and place to be worried, but it's not right now. I mean, look, Tex and Pearl are all the way across the pasture. Gracie's over here eating. Wanda, I don't know what Wanda's doing, but I hear you talking to her. I hear you talking to her. Stay right there, do not move, is what she's telling that baby. Man, that baby needs a name. The, uh, the guy that found her, his name is Charlie. And uh, he's like, guess you're gonna have to call her Charlie. And I was like, that's really cute because our last little baby here was Jolene. But I know that Lester historically lets her, lets y'all help us choose. So we'll see what her little name's gonna be. But right now we're just gonna call her that baby. And she is sweet. Oh my goodness. She looks so much like Pearl when Pearl was born. You make beautiful babies, Mama. Such beautiful babes. Uh-oh, we got a shuffler happening over here. Don't you go to Grandma Pat's yet. It's too soon. That is dirt being delivered. 
which is part of the reason why they must get out. Uh oh, she really is trying to go to Grandma Pat's. Uh, that's why they have to get out. We have trucks coming in and out of here today that are gonna be causing a little bit of a ruckus. Yeah, see, Mama's, Mama's like, no, you aren't leaving. Don't leave yet. And for all intents and purposes, I may sit here for the next 30 minutes until Lester gets here and recruit him for help, which is fine, because I'm watching. Little bitty babe. But at that ner that noise made Mama nervous too. And she just realized there's a whole other pile of food over there. She's like, oh, the double breakfast. I can eat closer to the baby. The biggest point is to make sure that they don't get in the way of the trucks and that text doesn't bother them. Which I'm going to do everything in my power to control that situation. I guess Argo gets to be in another video. I hate this thing, by the way. <laughs> Good thing I'm not the one that needed to review it because I don't like it at all. It's clunky. I can't get in and out of it. It's stupid to steer. I, just give me the mini truck. I don't need anything with power that goes fast or that has all kinds of gadgets that I can't work. Just give me the mini truck. That's all I want. I'd be fine in the mini truck out here. It's quieter. I could ninja up on people people being animals and babies and I could have put her in the back of the truck. No, I'm kidding. I could have put her in the front seat right across my lap, which is where I want to put her. Um, when I take her out, what I want to do is take this baby over to the goat yard, I guess, and put her into the goat yard or at least on the side goat yard to where she has lots of grass to eat, plenty of clean water, and it's just her and the goats. The goats won't mess with that baby. Because mama will not let them. Um, it's an exciting day here. Really exciting day here. Hi, Mom. I'm just, I know, I'm just looking. You just keep eating, okay? Or that. Look at this babe. Isn't she so sweet? Mama knows my game here. She's like, yeah, I see you pouring out two piles of food for me to worry about. And now she's telling this baby, do not move and do not let that woman get close to you. Well, little one, I hope I'm faster than you when your mama ain't looking. Okay, okay, I'm getting away. Yeah, see, this is why women live longer because I'm going to listen to this animal tell me no and trust her own motherly instincts to keep her out of harm's way. And I will sit here at a distance and keep watch and I will use the zoom on my camera like God intended <laughs> until Lester gets here. <laughs> I hear you, Mama. I hear you. I'm going to go sit on the Argo, okay? I just needed a picture. All right, Lester says, as long as she's out of the way of the trucks, that mama will protect her and everything's fine. I just messaged him and he says, just leave her be if mama knows best. This isn't mama's first rodeo and we all know that as well. You're a good girl, Santiana. I'm gonna give her a little bit more food. She needs to bulk up. I'm gonna go have some coffee now. <laughs> At least go get some and bring it out here to watch this baby. Uh, mama and baby are doing fine. That baby just walked half the pasture on her own and I haven't seen her nurse yet, but that will come too. So go tell Miss Pat and Mr. David, thank you for saving me. And I'm sure that I'll be right back out here shortly to add some more to this. Bye.